If everyone in the world could edit the Encyclopedia Britannica, that would be Wikipedia. If you don't know what Encyclopedia is, it's a large collection of knowledge about pretty much anything. My name is Q Maselli. I write about baking. Since I became vegan and gluten intolerant, I've enjoyed taking normal traditional recipes with wheat and dairy and eggs and turning them into vegan and gluten-free products of a similar nature, because I think that food really can connect people and open people up to a whole new world of experience. Um, being able to converse with my classmates from different countries about what they eat or to ask them about it and um, to find out if there are religious or ethical traditions informing uh, their food choices that's been really wonderful to learn. Recently, I wrote an article about tahina pita, which is a Greek Orthodox um, bread during uh, made during Lent because it's considered fasting since it has no animal products and um, no oil. So I noticed that there were blogs and other websites on the internet that spoke about this bread, but there was no Wikipedia article about it. And I thought since it was related not only to the Greek Orthodox Church and the concept of fasting and vegan cuisine and dessert, that it should have a little Wikipedia article. So I started a stub. Using Wikipedia has often helped me figure out the source of a new food. I learned about quinoa on Wikipedia because since I'm gluten intolerant and quinoa is a gluten-free grain or it's actually um, from the goosefoot plant, so it's a grass, I learned that on Wikipedia. Sources to find scientific knowledge about what I'm eating and cultural knowledge about what I'm eating. I use Wikipedia to find that because not every cookbook is going to be a science book as well. <laughs> I prefer the Wikipedia style of knowledge unfiltered, <laughs> of um, being able to sort through, of being able to look at an encyclopedia article to see if there's an issue of bias, that somebody has probably flagged it, and if not, now I can flag it too and say, hey, I think this is biased information. To have dis the discussion be in the open on a, an article's talk page, um, to see the edits that are being made, that's really important to be able to see how knowledge is presented in the process behind it. And so if Wikipedia um, were a for-profit organization and there were larger interests controlling it and advertising on the sidebars, to me that would um, take away some of the neutrality and I think it would be harder to believe and uphold the neutrality standard in Wikipedia that way. The thing that has surprised me the most about my involvement with Wikipedia has been the sense of community. And the fact that if one person wants to start something, other people will jump onto it and say, I can help you with this. Not necessarily to prove something, but to selflessly um, improve something. That's been just wonderful to, to find that spirit among the Wikipedia community.